Hi Richard, uh, we're here in Oldbourne, Devil's End, where you filmed the Damons. Uh, have you enjoyed yourself today? Been fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's been a very special day. Um, um, I, it's been a very special day yeah. and it's very enjoyable. Uh, it's l lovely meeting so many people, some of whom, not you Peter, but some of whom have been fans of mine ever since the 1970s, wow. which is amazing. Um, it's amazing for one reason, because of the extraordinary loyalty of um, Doctor Who fandom. Yeah. Um, and it's very genuine. Uh, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really heartwarming um, uh, to meet people you're one of the new ones, which yeah. is good. That's great. That's lovely. But my dad, my dad watched it when he was younger, and he got me into it. So he's yes. he's another Doctor Who fan. My dad. Oh right. So um, yes, it very often happens that way. Yeah. Either dads or granddads. Yeah. Yes. Goes in the family. I accuse somebody of being their granddad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and it must be nice meeting colleagues like Katie Manning, who you've not maybe not seen for a few months. And uh, well, yes, absolutely. Actually, Katie, I have seen yeah. more regularly, um, and uh, uh, she's been very helpful in uh, since I've not been too well yeah. um, in seeing that I get on the right train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And John? John? It's always nice seeing John uh, Levine. I, I, yeah. Yes, and John as well. But it's, it's, he's always a character, uh, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> it's, always, it's always nice to, um, uh, to see the team again. Yeah. Um, and it was a team, you know. The, we were all good friends. And um, uh, it was, it, it, it's a pleasure to see them again. Do you have like a favourite memory of of working with them or um, a favorite story well um, that's always a very difficult question um, uh, I certainly think that Albury yeah uh, was uh, one of the nicest locations we ever did um, because um, uh, it's such a, a beautiful place uh, it was in a lovely time of year and um, un usually for Doctor Who. <laughs> we weren't filming in a in a clay pit or yeah. some ghastly beach in Kent or something. Um, um, and uh, so it was it was a, a pleasure all round. The first week we were here it was really really sunny. It was lovely. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, people got the suntans and all the rest of it. <laughs> and uh, um, Chris, who was Chris, the Chris director? Barry. Chris so, Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Chris uh, went the colour of sort of some kind of nut, a brown nut. <laughs> yes. And um, uh, and then of course we had this extraordinary second week when um, uh, the whole picture completely changed, and we had to have. No, I was corrected on this. Somebody corrected me. I thought it was um, uh, the second week that um, we got snow on the ground. Yeah, I think the weather changed didn't yes, it, quite rapidly. Yes, the weather changed. Yeah. Com and uh, this year, of course, it's changing uh, <laughs> again. Yeah. Uh, it's been a horrible year this year, I think. Yeah, it's been a bit all over the place, hasn't yes. it? Yeah. What are your memories of working with... Um, to Marys Heyman, who recently passed away. Oh, uh, that was very sad. I wish I'd seen more of her. Yeah. Um, she was a, a very, um, a, a, a very intelligent and um, a lovely woman. Actually, she was very nice. Yeah. Very nice person. Um, and she had other things to talk about besides Doctor Who, <laughs> yeah. which is always nice. Yeah, she always comes across as a very clever and intelligent yes. person. Yeah. So, yeah, one of, one of my favourite stories that you did. Um, I mean, obviously the Damons is up there, but I'm a big fan of Terror of the Autons, yes. which is your first yes, story that was as the well. Yes, first story. Yeah. Um, I loved that. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you actually. I think it was a very a very good story, um, and the idea of plastic being a danger. Yeah. 
Um, of course, it's very much in the news at the moment, although that wasn't actually the theme. Yeah. Sort of um, uh, the, the idea of plastic waste um, being a danger to life generally. Yeah, it's one of the first Doc Two stories I ever saw, and uh, it's quite scary, isn't it, with the with the little doll yes, it is. on the Definitely. sofa? Yeah. Were you frightened? Yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. Um, and of course Rogers, Rogers in that one, isn't he, Roger Delgado? Yes, yeah, absolutely. He's excellent in that. Yeah. Um, so, have you got any plans for the future, acting wise? Are you, are you working on anything? Um, well, uh, I intend to uh, do more writing. Yeah. Um, I, I love writing. Just got a play going on, um, uh, opening at um, the Baron's Court Theatre, uh, which is a pub theatre, um, on September the sixth for three weeks. Um, uh, actually, we've had fifty-seven people have um, uh, applied to be wow. in it. Yeah, I I make uh, short films. I've just finished a, a yeah. degree in TV production. Oh really? So I've just made a little short ten minute film, and it's so as you I'm sure I'm sure you know it's very difficult to do that, isn't it? And to yeah, to is. find cast and to find people who want to work on it, and it's hard well, to hard to write it as well. Yes, yeah. well, well, very hard to write it. Yeah, and and also um, to get a, a good strong theme. I mean, you know, the story tells it. The cast, um, they always say that 60% of of um, uh, a successful production yeah. is um, getting a good cast together. Yeah, it's half the job, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's half the job. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, no, it definitely is, because you don't have to tell people things. Yeah. They just instantly... Uh, come through onto uh, your wavelength, and they bring suggestions to it as well. They bring, oh, they, they bring all, always, and I mean, you know, a director who doesn't listen to suggestions yeah. is is pretty silly, really. Did Did you get to add a lot of your own bits when you were on Doctor Who, or was it was it mostly um, to the script? Well, uh, the basic um, scripts were always um, fine. Yeah, and, I mean, you, we never had to uh, really. Um, change that uh, but um, they were always open to um, uh, um, you know our suggestions yeah well I mean I think confident writers <laughs> can do that yeah well it stood the test of time hasn't it because we're we're here 50 years well, later that's right. <laughs> yeah I know it's extraordinary and I wasn't even born <laughs> so <laughs> yes that it's is crazy. amazing yeah. actually to think of that yeah Yes. So it wasn't yeah. even a twinkle in your parents' eye. No, my my parents are only about five or six years old themselves, so it's. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Yes. But that makes you feel old. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, don't rub it in. <laughs> don't rub it in. Um, no. Thanks for talking to me, Richard. It's been a pleasure. And uh, no, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Peter. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Uh, uh, yes, I shall do. Are you here tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking yes, forward. Yes, me too. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't miss this opportunity of being in in Albourne with all you lot yeah particularly at this particular juncture in my life um, well it's, it's do you know what I like about it as well though is everyone's so friendly because I've come on my own for this one normally I go with my dad to events but um, it was a bit far for him to travel so I'm on my own and yeah. everyone's just been so welcoming and have introduced themselves to me and it's, yeah. it's been nice it's, it's always nice well it's uh, yeah it, it is but um, I think that that comes naturally yeah I mean we are and I can speak for the others. We are genuinely pleased to um, come into contact with the fans. Yeah. It must. Family. It must be nice after all this time to still have. Well, it's it's extraordinary. Yes, it is. It's very nice indeed. I mean, uh, the degree of loyalty is uh, very high indeed. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Richard. Yeah. Not at all. A pleasure. <laughs>